by the name of Vincent Telesana. His street name was Squirt. Uh -huh. And what did he do to earn a place in heaven? It looks like a textbook holdup. His stand is in a shambles. Guy must have ransacked it looking for more cash. Or dirty books. Uh, this is what, the fifth new stand hit in two weeks? Yeah, but this is the first time anyone bought it. What's the preliminary report on this guy? The assistant in me says he can't be sure, but so far all he can find is a single stab wound in the chest. Is that all? Doc says only one wound. Okay, you finish up here. I'll meet you back in the station. Where are you going? To buy a newspaper. Meanwhile, in another part of town. Come in. Hi, Mr. Muldoon. What have you got for me, Arnie? Oh, big one, Mr. Muldoon. I knocked over that guy on 23rd Street. Squirt Telesana? Yeah, he the one. Well, don't keep me in suspense. The works. Hey, Arnie, you hit the jackpot. There must be a whole day's worth of action here. I thought you would be pleased, Mr. Muldoon. This is great. <laughs> How did you crack him? It wasn't easy. What do you mean? I thought these little corner newsies were like pushing over baby carriages. Well, this guy was holding the bank, so I had to apply some pressure. Oh, much pressure, Arnie. Look, Mr. Muldoon, you're not mixed up in that end of it. What does it matter? That's my overhead. Doesn't cost you anything. We're not in a regular kind of business, Arnie. Uh, whatever you do, I'm responsible for. Accomplices, Arnie. Before the fact, after the fact. You name it, they got a law. It's nothing I can't handle. How much pressure, Arnie? The limit. Arnie, Arnie. I don't know what I'm going to do with you. I can square it, Mr. Muldoon. Honest. Sure you can, Arnie. I uh, just got a little upset. You're a good man. I couldn't afford to lose you. That's good to know. Listen, I treat my people right. Get lost for a couple of days. Here, take this. But it's a thousand bucks. For a job well done. Goodbye, Arnie. So long, Mr. Muldoon. And thanks. This is Mr. Muldoon. Arnie Wexler has just left my office. He's become a liability. We no longer need him. Take the appropriate action. Yes, the usual fee. Oh, uh, by the way, here's a thousand dollars of my money. Consider that an advance. A little later, another street corner, another newsstand. Hey, Kojak, what's new? Want the evening edition? Oh, yeah, Maxie. The one with the latest stock prices. I'm a big investor. I never thought you were one for sucker bets, Kojak. <laughs> what other kind are there, Maxie? Search me. Uh-huh. My kingdom for probable cause. You're here about Squirt. Hey, the news travels fast. It's my business. I sell it. I see it happen. So what happened to Squirt Telesana? He got hit, like everybody else. But he got killed, not like everybody else. Some guys choose to fight for a couple of bucks. How about you, Maxie? Would you fight? Depends on the odds. Hey, what odds are you selling today? I don't get you, Kojak. Come on, Maxie. You're talking to me. 
You guys have been running bets out of your stands for the last 40 years. Why, officer, are you insinuating? Hey, I'm not insinuating. I'm telling you straight out. I got customers there. I gotta go. Maxie, if you hear anything, huh? You'll be the first to know. After how many, baby? Central to car 763K. This is car 763. Be 1034 on frequency 2. Switching to frequency 2. This is 763 to 1034. Lieutenant, this is Crocker. What is it, Bobby? We got another body. Where? 457 Aesop Street. On my way, 763K. <laughs> this is getting to be a volume business. It's one of this. Who? A character by the name of Arnie Wexler. Arnie Wexler. Arnie Wexler. The highest muscle behind Nate Muldoon. Hey, this may prove to be enlightening. Got something else for you, Lieutenant. Yeah, well? We found this on Wexler. Oh, thank you, Dr. Watson. Oh, my. What have we here? A six-inch stiletto. Didn't anyone inform this late gentleman that such weapons are illegal in our fair, fun city? Open it up, Lieutenant. Oh, you're full of surprises tonight, Crocker. Well, well. Look at this. Bloodstains. You think he could be the guy who knocked off Squirt Telesana? Do we have any other candidates? Get this knife down to the medical examiner's office on the double. Have him tighten cross-match the blood on this blade with Telesana's. Anything else? Yeah, have Stavros pull the package on Nick Muldoon. Welcome back to the office, Lieutenant. Coffee? Did you make it, Stavros? No. <laughs> Cream and two sugars. Have you got Muldoon's file? On your desk. Come into my parlor, detective. Yes, sir. Look at the kisser on this guy. Nathan Muldoon, age 56. And you have this. Oh, here we go. Policy, numbers, bookmaking. What do you think, Lieutenant? Listen carefully, most devoted servant. These newsies have been running a decent bookmaking scam for years. Nothing big. No competition with the major leagues, but respectable. They make a living. Now, an old pro from the administrative end of the business notices this penny ante game going on. He sees where. With a little organization and efficiency, he's got the raw material for a big operation. These hits have been merger offering. The first newsie to say no was Squirt. But why kill Omni Wexler? Because he broke the routine. You don't go around killing street people like Vinny Telesano. Gives the victimless crime of gambling a bad image. Lieutenant Kojak. Yeah. Maxie? When? On my way. Stavros, come with me. Rizzo! Sapperstein! Meet us at 34th and 7th Avenue. Maxie's newsstand. A very successful business you have here, Maxie. Tell your imps to keep your hands off me, Moto. Ah! Now, now, Maxie. There's no need for violence. All we want to do is help you improve your profit margin. I sell newspapers and magazines. What do I know from profits? Let's not play games, Maxie. I know you run one of the cleanest book operations on the street. You and your news hawkers. What are you talking about? Are you nuts? All I want is a partnership. 50-50. We could be a great help to each other. Listen, Muldoon. Okay, you know all the angles. You think you're pretty smart. Do you know why we make out so well? Why no one touches us? Because we stay small. We don't get in the way of the big boys. They understand we're just out to make a living. Right. So they let us alone. We start expanding and the piece is broken. So it's no deal. Now or ever. Then you're out of the picture. Okay, fellas, put Maxie out of business. Hey, stop that one! Police! Keep back, but his newsies had it. Who are you trying to kid, Muldoon? You're not going any place, with or without Maxie. I'm warning you. No, I'm warning you. I know what you've been up to on the street. I know your boy Wexler killed Squirt. I also know you had Arnie Wexler killed. You're bluffing. You don't know anything. Whose word are they going to take, Muldoon? I've got you and your strong arms in the middle of an assault rack right now. And with the other two hits, hey, you're bought and paid for. Who says? Listen, stupid. You try to interfere in a big league game. You think they're going to let you get away with that? The only place you can live is in jail. Let them go. Sapperstein, Rizzo, cuff those monkeys. All right, you guys, help me. Well, Maxie, you saved the business. Thanks for getting here. I called as soon as I saw them coming. I don't know what I would have done without you, Kojak. Hey, who loves you, baby?